going to come in and put in the username and password for our account. And so that's going to be username CIC Chem. Okay. And then the password is chemistry. Click login. And we come to here, it says to create a new flashcard set. Okay, so you'll notice how I've labeled the cards here. Um, I have one here called CIC AG Chem Test 1, Mr. L's cards. And then for you guys, you just want to put your first name and then the description as your name as well. So here's how we do it. Create a new card set. Okay, you'll put the subject chemistry. You'll put grade level 8. You'll put in a title. So the title here, let's just say this is going to be um, Alberto's Cards. And for the same thing here. Okay, and we're going to enable the flashcard database and read only access. And we'll do save set details. And we're ready to start making our cards. Come up to the advanced editor and create new cards. You'll click here and then you can begin. So here's my first flashcard. I'll say has a definite um, volume and shape. And the answer, of course, here is a solid. And that's my first flashcard. Then you want to click New Card and go to the next set and complete your set. Okay, so out of all the cards, if each person uh, will put in 10 flashcards uh, with, say, th we have 36 students, that will generate us 360 flashcards in total. So you've got 10 to make. You make your 10, and when you're finished, you click Save and Exit. And then yours will be added to uh, our list of cards, which if you click on My Flashcards, we now have each person's cards dropping in. So there's a Alberto's, there's Jose, Mr. L. It shows how many cards. Each person should have 10 cards in their uh, complete set. So if you want to study multiple sets, you click here to study. And you can select all the sets that you wanted to, to be combined together and start your study Determine session. Definition, yeah, I want to do it that way. And click begin. And then here comes the first question. What are the two categories of pure substances, compounds, and elements? There's the answer. Next card. Now, and if you would through. like to print the cards out uh, on paper, you can select an individual set of cards. And once you click on that set, you have the option here to print. So when you go for print, they'll come out on paper in this format, which you'll just cut out. Okay, so it's click here to tell your browser, browser to print these cards. Once printed, cut them horizontal and fold down the middle to create two-sided cards. Or you can switch to one card per page mode, and you can choose your font sizes. So you have the option to print these cards out. Okay, so there we go. We can share all of our cards together. And you can study them in one giant grouping, where it says study multiple sets. And you can print out individual sets on paper if you choose to do so. Be sure that you have 10 cards in your set. And that after you make your changes, hit save and then come back to this window and check them to make sure they're correct. Okay, I'll start grading these um, after class Tuesday evening. So these are going to be due uh, on the website um, by class time on Tuesday. If you have any questions, email me or you can rewatch this video carefully to get your details. Okay. Good luck.